Hi, Water Science, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what's new for you in love and romance. So, we want to see what will your next major relationship will be like who will the person be who is coming towards you what are the what are some new and positive developments in the areas of your love it is going to be a general reading and there is actually going to be a part two to this reading where in part two we're going to go we're going to dive deeper into the messages and we're going to explore that in a little bit more detail and um to access this all you have to do is just visit the extension link which will be provided to you just at the bottom of the video here now with all of that being said let's give the cards a shuffle and let's see who's coming in towards you what will be your next what will your next major relationship be like okay what is it that you might need to know here Okay, be patient guys because it is happening for you here. Wow. Cards are just falling out. Okay, so your next major love, really, is probably going to be one of the most important relationships you've ever had or one of the best relationships you've ever had here, okay? The Hierophant tells me that the person that is coming in towards you and the things that they are seeking here are definitely some of the qualities, the traits and characteristics that you have, okay? You will be their ideal partner. And in return, this is someone who I feel like will possess all the traits and, quali and qualities, characteristics of your ideal partner. This is going to be an ideal partnership here. I feel like this is someone who is very spiritual, very religious, someone who I feel like is a, will make a very traditional partner. Or this person is someone who really upho like really honors and, upho and upholds either spiritual or traditional um, family values or traditions here. Okay, I also feel like you're going to have, there's going to be a choice that you're going to have to make because I feel like there are actually two very compatible energies that are gravitating towards you here. Okay, this is going to be a difficult decision because I feel like both will be very promising and both romantic energies hold a lot of potential. At the end of the day, I feel like go with where your heart tells you to go here. Um, two very different people, I feel. Two very different people. One feels a little bit more serious here. Someone who is, someone who knows what they want, okay? And what they want is something long-term, something traditional, like a very traditional type of relationship. They're going to want to slap a title, put a label on it, even put a ring on it. This is, I feel like this particular connection will probably in, result in marriage, um, or like a commitment or a union of some sort, something traditional in that aspect here. So this is someone who I feel like wants to go the long haul with you, wants to go the distance here. You might meet this poten potential um, romantic energy 
Either you might meet them online, it could be through a dating app, it could be through a social media app of some sort. It might also uh, signify that this is someone from a different cultural background to you. So they may have been born overseas, they may even be living overseas right now as we're doing this reading here. Um, you might potentially, I feel like you won't be connecting with this person until later on. So it doesn't feel like this person is... Um, coming into your life immediately. This is why I feel like patience is required. But just remember, guys, if the university is making you wait for something, it's because this person or this very connection, okay, is definitely going to be worth the wait. Definitely here. Yeah. So, and I feel like it's because the universe here is going to deliver so much more than what you're wanting and what you're promised here. So definitely patience here. I feel like when the two of you will meet, there's a sense of alchemy here. There's a sense of um, magic, like a, especially like um, a magic to the flow, to the cosmic flow of the universe. Okay. I feel like the two of you are very likely to meet under um, faded set of circumstances. Okay. Um, it feels like this is the work of destiny, divine intervention, divine Prearrangement here, and I it feels like this is a soul partner with whom you have a soul contract with. Okay, um, but do be patient, be very patient because this person is coming into your life, maybe not as soon as you want them to, but that's because they may still have some inner work to do, or you might have you, it might be you that has some inner work to do, some healing, okay, some letting go, some releasing people's energy, okay, stop trying to shrink yourself to try and fit into relationships that you clearly outgrew, because um, you're so much bigger than than some of these, I think, energies or some of these connections that you're holding on to here, so definitely I feel like this person isn't ready to enter your life yet because you're not ready for them, okay, you're not ready, you still have some work to do, you still have some healing to do, there may be unhealed emotional wounds that are still festering in your energy and you need to heal these, okay, you need to um, do some inner work, some emotional cleansing, some emotional purging, this is why I feel like you have to be patient, not only with the universe, with also this uh, potential romantic energy that's entering your life here, but also with yourself, guys, okay? There is no time frame for healing. Unfortunately, it may take you a little bit longer than the next person, but um, everyone is on the, their own individual journey, so you should never compare. Now, I did speak uh, about a possible second romantic, journey, uh, romantic energy that is entering your life here. It's important that you know that these two will feel very different, okay? They're two very different personalities. This is someone who I feel like is a little bit more hearted, a lot more, I guess... Not necessarily energetic, but I feel like this is someone who's going to, who doesn't take life too seriously, okay? And I feel like this is someone who's always on the go. A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm around this person here. Um, that's not to say that they're not going to take this relationship seriously, but I feel like they're going to have a really light-hearted approach. So, look, maybe this isn't someone who wants to get married, or at least right away. And maybe this isn't someone who wants to slap a title on it. Maybe they just want to sort of go with the flow and just see where things Take them, okay? See where things eventually um, end up with you guys. But I feel like this is someone who's always, who's de who definitely, they're themselves, okay? What you see is what you get. They're very personable. They have um, a lot of, a very large social circle of friends. See, they make friends wherever they go. Um, they're always cracking jokes. They don't take themselves seriously. They don't take life too seriously as well. Um, a lot of fun to be around and I feel like you'll, you'll always find yourself laughing around this person. This is someone who I feel like is just, they're also very similar to you though. I feel like the two of you will really feed off each other and uh, each other's energy here. But this is someone who I feel like there's going to be a little bit of up and down with this person. I don't know why that is. I just feel like maybe this is someone who is going to be a little bit in and out of your life, or at least in the beginning to begin with, okay? Or maybe this is someone who is um, constantly always on the go and always doing things. A part of me wants to say that you might feel like you're not getting enough of their attention simply because I feel like you're going to be in a position where you're going to be, 
you you want to be around this person all the time you'll always want to hear from them you'll always want to be in their presence here just spend some time with them but maybe you know they're juggling between not two different people i don't think it's that but i feel like they've got their hands full they could also be in the entertainment industry i feel like this this could be someone who is an actor an actress um like a film director photography i'm just getting or an aspiring um Possibly an aspiring screenwriter or filmmaker of some sort. I'm getting entertainment around this person here. Okay, um, there's also, I feel like there will be a very strong sexual chemistry or sexual energy between the both of you. So you will be very attracted to both of these connecting energies, okay? It's not like one is better looking than the other or there's more sexual energy attention between one or the other. I feel like you'll be attracted to both of these energies, which is why I feel like the devil represents the the lover's triangle in this um, reading. I feel like you'll be torn, okay? And I know it's not a very easy, um, it's a bit of a tricky position for you to be in, because as I've mentioned, I feel like both connections are great and both connections will be very rewarding. Yes, they'll be a little similar, but quite different. I feel like with one, there's definitely, if you want to go down that road of marriage, commitment, you know, long-term consistency, stability. This is something traditional, like a relationship, a marriage, or like a commitment or a union of some sort. Then I feel like one energy can definitely um, give you that. The other energy doesn't feel quite as traditional or not that it doesn't feel as quite as stable, but I feel like this is someone very energetic, someone very enthusiastic, a bit of a nomadic energy. I feel like they may they may travel, okay, or they may be doing some traveling for work, or it's very likely that the two of you might, if you do end up with this energy, you potentially might end up living overseas with this person, and that's interesting. Um, both energies have a healing quality to them. I feel like... Uh, both of these energies that I see coming into your life, I feel like are going to help you to heal some emotional wounds that still fester, that need healing. Um, I'm also seeing that communication styles, um, there's great mental compatibility between the two of you, between the both of you here. Um, Quite a sexual attraction, quite an intense connection, and quite an intense attraction with the both of, between the both of you. I feel like with one of these energies, I'm seeing that they have like a unique scar or a birthmark somewhere across their face or their body here. Um, I'm also seeing financial stability and security here. At least with one of these energies, I feel like this is the one who is quite settled and who wants to settle down and. Um, you know, who wants to build a home or a family with you here. I feel like what's in your future is a type of love that is very rare. It's something that you've been wanting and I feel like it's something that um, you truly deserve here. Okay, I feel like it's also a type of love that's unfortunately eluded you in the past here. This is, to me, this is, this this feels like someone who understands you, someone who will give and receive love in the way that you want, you know, you want to receive it. Um, it's an unconditional type of love. It's very selfless. It's very rare. It's a feeling that I feel like you haven't experienced before. It's someone who's willing to make a lot of sacrifices and compromises just in order to have this connection work out. It's someone who is also, I feel like they've done a lot of suffering in the past um, for romantic love here. Or they've suffered for the happiness of others. So a very selfless kind of energy here. Someone very affectionate here. Okay, someone who's um, the kind of love that's very affectionate here. The kind of love that you'll definitely feel here. Someone very romantic here. In some ways, though though this is completely new, there's something about them that will feel very familiar here, a familiar type of love. It might be very uh, strange to explain here, but a very strong sexual attraction, but also a very strong bond here, and like a strong bond, kinship, or familiarity between you and this person here. Um, okay, so that's your reading. In part two, we're going to explore which exact... Like, which will happen, okay? Because I've mentioned that there are two different types of love here. We want to see 
you know, what happens if you choose one partner over the other, okay? So what type of love will these two very different type of people offer you, okay? So, and you know, if you end up with one person, what kind of life will you have with them? So that will be made via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, guys, please show your support by liking, subscribing, sharing. And I just want to thank you guys for your time and attention. Bye for now.